A group of pastors is demanding an apology from the sheriff of Mobile County. This after the sheriff's office posted a picture of Christmas of a Christmas tree decorated with mug shots, deeming it Thug Thursday. NBC 15's Justin Moore tells us the pastors won't let this go until the community gets that apology. No one should have had to tell him that needed to be taken down. Pastor Buford Hall and about a dozen other preachers want Mobile County Sheriff Sam Cochran to apologize for this Facebook post. Not only an apology, but an acknowledgement of what happened, how, how it can cause uh, divisiveness in our community. The Mobile County Sheriff's Office posted this picture of a Christmas tree with mug shots hanging from its branches. The caption said, we have decorated our tree with thug shots to show how many thugs we have taken off the streets of Mobile this year. Many in the African American community took offense to the word thug, describing it as having racial undertones. I believe that it is cold word for the other word. That's why Faith in Action Alabama organized this rally in front of the sheriff's office. These pastors say the post ostracized individuals who could potentially be innocent and say using a tree that represents peace and tranquility is in bad taste. It being used as a marketing tool to celebrate your victories. That, that doesn't sit well. The sheriff's office removed the post after receiving threats, but this group says it's not enough. There has to be a true understanding of what this word, what this imagery, how it can be seen to continue to create a wedge within our community. In Mobile County, Justin Moore, NBC 15 News. We reached out to the sheriff's office today for comment. We were told the sheriff is sticking by his statement from Saturday, and the Facebook post has since been removed at the group's request. And on this day, protesters call for the sheriff's office to stop using the term Thug Thursday. Sheriff's officials took to Facebook with another Thug Thursday post. Deputies identifying one of two suspects wanted for stealing catalytic converters. They say Jamie Jemison and another man were spotted stealing from Parts from vehicles at Bay City Towing in Theodore. Converters can be sold for scrap for the platinum in them. Others are going to a secondary market. When thieves strike, the removal of those catalytic converters can really mess up your vehicle and cost a lot of cash to fix.